like this movement is a time, like the time of the day, and this other circle is the year, this one, that's called the ecliptic. But let's start, here's the polar star, yeah? there is yeah. polar star, in reality, because there's north, and this is north, and this is south, that's east, and that's west, so now it's right, and this is 52 degrees, because the polar star is 52 degrees altitude from the horizon. Because the planet is turning, uh, and this is the axis of our planet, then it's the same. This is what is called equinoctial color because it connects one equinoctial point to the other. And this path is the path of the sun during the year. So see this as the calendar 365 days, roughly 360 degrees in a circle. So let's say a uh, little bit bit less than a degree a day, something like that. So, because the sun is going up uh, during the spring equinox, you know, this is the equator, celestial equator, or our equator, it doesn't matter, it's the same. So this is the beginning of spring, and as many days, but that was not the case for now. So, let's see, because now mm, it was uh, an autumn equinox like 40 days ago. Else? It was 20th of September, I guess. So September, October, that's 30, and another 20, so 50 days. So 50 degrees, uh, and the sun should be here. And then what time it is? It's 9 o'clock. sun rises in the east. Um, you know what I mean? The sun is in here, and if it touches the, the horizon, then it starts to rise. Oh, and yeah. That's why the, sh the day is so short, because it only makes this arc during today. Whereas when it's up here, it makes, makes much a longer one, and then, you know what I mean? So, let's see. And this one is the galactic equator, which is the Milky Way. So, I hope that is rightly arranged. is the same as reality, yes. So if you think about basic planes that are moving because uh, horizon is all the time the same and meridian is all the time the same, but these are not. So this is the galaxy. My, my palm now is the same plane as the galaxy. Yeah. The spiral galaxy we live in. Towards the center? Uh, center is in the uh, Sagittarius, which is in here, so the center of the galaxy is right there, because we are in the center of this, so if you connect this with this point, there's the center of the galaxy, and the sun would be there right now, you know, the same, just to connect that, and, uh, I don't know, you would have to have questions, it's just, uh, it's supposed to be like this, so actually moving this, uh, you're, you're moving something that doesn't move, if you know what I mean. We are moving, but this is not supposed to move. So by moving this, you're actually seeing something that stays the same. Well, I'm, I'm just... It's a relative position. Yeah, 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 it's a relative position, that's all. And then the big thing is to start using the... It's called the spherical triangles. But again, you would have to have, uh, like, a paper or really like a question or you would have to be determined to spend some time to understand you know, yeah. yeah but simply said uh, usually you use any star or sun during the day only sun is visible so the sun is now here 
this is the sun, so this would be one point on a sphere, and the zenith is always another point, because you are right here beneath the zenith, it's like that, so the, the thing you're trying to find is the star that is right above you in the zenith. That's the point you're trying to find. This is the one you know because you know where is the sun. And either you know because this angle is the time, and you know you just uh, make this simple measurement, which is by sextant or something. You measure how high it is from the horizon. It would be here, let's say, 10 degrees. And you, because this is 90, so this is 80. So you have 80 degrees. And then, because this is, as we said, 52, this must be, again, only 38. So 38, 80, and then this is again known because the sun is always doing the same road during the uh, year. So this would be about 90 plus 5, so 95. And you have 95, 80, and 32. And you have just the same as you have on a flat surface, you know, but the uh, if you put all the three angles together, it's more than <laughs> as on a flat surface, yeah. and there are like rules that you have to follow. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because this angle is the time, so not knowing the time, you can either find time when you know the rest, or knowing the time and not knowing some other thing, you can just come the rest. It's all. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yes. Yes. Take a bow. It's very boring, but uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> Thank you.